Okay, YouTube, this is going to be round two. Two! Because apparently AZ Techie, Tiki, Techie, Tiki, but I'm going to go with AZ Techie. That last uh, video that was up for like 10 minutes and then it was gone because I thought it was the fuses that he sent me. Apparently he didn't. He didn't send them to me because uh, he didn't send them out. I don't know where these fuses came from. They were two amp fuses which I already tested in one of the previous videos and of course you know the gears weren't turning. Squirrels weren't squirreling and I was like well I mean this is a little deja vu but I'm gonna do it anyway but I have his now uh, they just showed up today I'm gonna take care of that it's supposed to be five amp fuses so let's open them up this time and see what we got okay so this is how it showed up it does look a little beat up right here I hope the fuses are okay and I don't know if you can hear that, but I hope they're not broken. So I'll go ahead and... Oh, you know what? I bet I could reuse that stamp. They didn't stamp it. Nice! Free stamp. I'll have to be careful not to cut that. There's a couple broken in there, but I think we uh, have a few uh, salvageable ones in there. Thumbprint. This is the 5 amp fuse. Awesome. Let's do it. Yeah, so this time again, I'm going to try to write everything down and do the voltage drop in the same video and I have the lights turned down for maximum visibility okay this first test will be on the 3 volt rail and we will see where it pops uh, I don't have my normal fan hooked up uh, if it gets too hot I'll have to switch fans contact Alrighty, I'm not really sure what happened there. Alrighty, I'm not quite sure what happened there. Maybe that was just a fluke deal, or if it was maybe crushed there in the packaging. So I'll try again. That's kind of cool looking though. I'm also going to start this um, a little bit higher because it is a 5 amp fuse. Contact! Okay, I didn't actually get to see that, so we'll do it again. Okay, next test is on the 3 volt rail, and it will be for consistency. Contact! Alright, I didn't get to see that one again. Kind of watching everything at once, but it looked like the actual lead itself was getting hot. Kind of like the other one. Uh, but I think it was around maybe 9 or 10 amps when it did pop. Uh, we'll do another one for consistency. Okay, next test is still on the 3 volt rail. And it's just for consistency again to make sure that the fuse pops before the actual lead does. Contact! Okay, I think that was around 9 or 10, but of course I'll have to review the video to make sure. Okay, next test is on the 5 volt rail. Corn tuck. Okay, that was right at 9 amps. Okay, next test is on the 5 volt rail, and it's all pretty much the same. We're just going for consistency. Contact. Okay, it definitely does not go over 10 so far that I've seen. I guess we'll do one more of those, and I'm going to try to hold it around 7 to 8 amps to see what happens. Okay, next test. Contact. Okay, I think when I did see it pop, it was maybe around 9 amps. Okay, this first test will be for the voltage drop. We are on the 3 volt rail, and I will start the stopwatch, and I'll let it run for 1 minute. Contact! Contact. 
9.6 millivolts. Next test is still on the 3 volt rail and it'll be at 2 amps. Corn tech. Okay, next test will be on the 3 volt rail and we'll go ahead and test it at 3 amps. Corn tech. Okay, next test is still on the 3 volt rail and we might as well do 4 amps unless it gets hot. Corn tech. Okay, next test is on the 5 volt rail and it only starts at 1.5 amps. Corn tech. Okay, next test is on the 5 volt rail set at 2 amps. Corn tech. Okay, next test is on the 5 volt rail set at 3 amps. Corn tech. Next test, 5 volt rail set at 4 amps. Corn tech. Okay, next test will be voltage drop when the fuse pops and we'll start on the 3 volt rail. Corn tech. Okay, next test will be on the 5 volt rail and we'll see what the voltage drop is when it pops. Corn tech. Okay, of course I didn't get to see it, so I'll have to look at the video. Okie doke. Okay, next test, I found one with the broken glass, so I figured I would go ahead and burn it up. Uh, this one's on the 3 volt rail. Corn tech. Okay, I believe that was around 8 amps. Okay, that one was just for fun. And we did have a couple of those fluke ones that kind of burnt up the tab first. I'm not sure if that was just because it was damaged maybe in the mail or maybe I'm not really sure why it would do that but two of them did that. One actually popped outside the fuse. So maybe if it's actually soldered to a bus bar that might not happen. Let me know what you guys think. All right, AZ Techie. Hope that was a good enough test for you and everybody else. Those were the five amp fast glass fuses. The voltage drop on the 3 volt rail at 1 amp, it was about 9.6, 2 amps, 19.7, 3 amps, 32, 4 amp, 45.8. And on the 5 volt rail, 1 amp was 15.3, 2 amp was 20.8, 3 amp was 31.9, 4 amp was 46.2. I don't think it went over 10. I hope that's what you're looking for. I think that's a pretty good fuse. Okay, we will see you guys on the next one. Um, sure, I...
Yeah. Um, because, uh, and, um, I did, uh, just scribble out the address on there, and of course now I got it all over my fucking thumb. Um, I already forgot what I was gonna say. Um, mini voltage droppage. The, um, to the glass. Um, 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 I guess, hopefully, um, yeah, um, which I already said, um, hmm, hey dude, what are you doing? Um, hold on, bud.